Every day, thousands of LEGO videos get uploaded to the internet, whether they be uploaded by myself, now uploading over 1,800 videos since I joined YouTube in 2012, or being uploaded by one of the other many, many other LEGO YouTubers, LEGO TikTokers, LEGO Instagrammers, and all that really good stuff. Given that there are thousands of videos uploaded every single day, and I am a guy with a lot of opinions and a lot of reactions, I thought it'd be really fun to create this new series called Bricklumber 18 Reacts. In this series, I'm going to be deep diving into some of the videos on the internet for the first few videos starting out kind of talking about some of my own and giving you a little bit more behind the scenes context, stories, and insight, and just some pure reactions to videos that I've made in the past. Today being the very first episode, we're going to be taking a look at the video that completely changed my channel and took it to another level, the Will These Lego Boats Float video. So taking a look at my channel here, you'll notice that the third most popular video I ever uploaded was Will These Lego Boats Float Number 1. I uploaded this YouTube video in 2016, back when I only had around 4,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Now here I am, six years later, with over 100,000, and this is truly the video that really changed my YouTube channel forever. And today, I want to give you that behind-the-scenes insight and watch it through with you for the first time ever since I uploaded it. All right, you guys, so we're going to watch the video now. We are going to be listening to 6 minutes and 23 seconds of my 2016 self, and quite frankly, I don't know what to expect. All right, you guys, here we go. I'm going to click play. Hey, everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a special oh, kind of video. Oh, just listen to how so I sound back in, uh, back in 2016. Room, today, as you can see, it's going to be a bit different because I'm actually at my pool. I love the sunglasses the I was wearing. Why I was wearing the sunglasses, today, I, I was definitely trying to be Casey Neistat. I'm not sure. So here are all the boats that I obviously chose to test out in this video, um, a whole bunch of different variety here. Fun fact, the boat that actually inspired this whole series was that ferry back there. I got that at a Mastermind Toys and it said it didn't float and I was like, hmm, I feel like this would be so much fun to test it out and see if it would float. So I went around my Lego room and these are the other boats that I gathered together for this video. Well, not throw them, but I'm going to put them in the pool to see if they actually float or to see Look if they sink to the very bottom of the pool. You'll have to stay tuned to find out the results. This cute little intro with the underwater Before background. we get into the video, please leave your comments down below right now of what you think the boats will do. What's your prediction? Do you think they're going to sink? Do you think they're going to float? Let me know by commenting down below. So I'm actually going to go in order here from the smallest boat to the largest boat. If I'm not mistaken as well, I believe right around this time I'm filming this video was when I actually got a brand new camera for the first time. So I think before that I was filming on like a Canon camcorder and I really wanted to switch it up because again, I'm watching a ton of Casey Neistat. It's 2016. I'm wearing the sunglasses. I want a DSLR and I went to Costco and I bought a Nikon one and the Nikon one didn't end up working out. I returned it a few weeks later, uh, but I believe this video was filmed on that Nikon camera. So the first boat that we're going to test out here is this police boat. You guys can tell if you, I don't know if you saw that clip, I'll rewind it five seconds. Um, but if you can see, it's clearly already wet. So I definitely tested this one and didn't like the shot. So I had to redo it. Fun little timbit of information there. Oh, look at those filters. As wow. you can see, it's so small, it's almost like a jet ski. But anyways, let's just throw it in the water to see if it floats or if it sinks. So many people I'm commented, why would nice you throw the boat in the water? I don't, it was just an so expression. I didn't even throw it. As long as it's floating on this side and no many... Also, like, the font that I use, now you guys know I have a, a brand consistent font. I use it in all my videos, all my thumbnails and stuff like that. But back then, I clearly wasn't doing that. So whatever the default was on probably iMovie or Final Cut, I don't even remember what software I used to edit this video. I just use the default. Figure actually wants to stand above it because... Look at the focus, too. That is why I returned like the Nikon camera. That's going to allow that to work out. The next boat here is this Coast Guard boat. And there actually is Again, a minifigure on this one, so let's hope it's not like the police boat and floats upside down, because that would be no good for this poor little minifigure. Yes, not good for the poor little minifigure. So as you can see, there's at least some improvement with the Coast Guard boat other than the police boat, because this one at least floats on its side. So next up, we have this fire boat from the fire I remember, I love this bag. one. I think I bought this from the brick show. Um, again, look My at these angles, look at those not the filters, but look like this one was definitely from the Brick Show. On it whatsoever, but that's what this test video is for. So surprise, surprise, this boat actually floats better than any of the other. This is the first boat that actually had floated. I was very excited about it because I think by this point I'm like, oh crap, what if I'm... What if I'm in too deep? Like, what if these boats, what if none of them are going to float? What if this whole video is just a flop? So this was like a changing point. And yeah, again, with that crazy, that crazy font color. Lego boats that I've actually tested in this video so far. 
Who would have thought? Look at this underwater shot. This is the first underwater shot that I did in this video. I had this like really small little underwater camera that I bought. I think at Canadian Tire, which is like a Canadian, well, that's like a tire store, but it also is like the department store. They sell a bunch of other things as well. I bought this really cheap little camera for vacation I was going on because I wanted to do underwater photography, and I'm like, hey, I might as well use it for this video. And it was the worst, like it was a potato quality. I used that video, that camera, probably until like 2020. I think I got a GoPro in 2020, so then my 2021 and 2022 videos had GoPro shots in it. Uh, but before that, I used this potato quality camera. And look at I called it under the sea, which also got a million. Next up, of course, there. is this red. It wasn't speedboat. the sea; it was the pool. I get it. Let's throw it in. This is another I one of my know. favorite boats. I, I love sink. this one, but again, look at that focus and look at me just toss it in there and it instantly filling up with water. So it looks like a water. sinker, as you can see. It looks like it's starting to float, but it's slowly filling up with water, and I imagine it'll be a matter of minutes before it is completely submerged underwater. Next up, we have this blue bloat. Oh, guys, guys, I, I got to rewind that. You got to hear that better. Next up, we have this blue bloat. Did you guys hear what I said there? I said blue bloat. I was trying to say blue. I was trying to say boat. It came out blue bloat. This comment got like this. It, this was insane. The, you know, the outcry from this when I said that. Everybody was commenting. Did he say bloat? Did he do this? Did he do that? I remember 2016 me was so embarrassed, so mortified that I let that slip. At that time, I didn't have like a, a proper setup for me to refilm audio. And if I did that now, I would just refilm the audio and make it match. And you guys would never even know I would try and edit that mistake out. But back then when I was filming everything and I just wasn't able to duplicate that, that was a disaster. So I was really upset about that one. I thought nobody would notice. Literally the entire, everybody in the comments did notice that. I actually had to remove, I added bloat as a key uh, swear word in that video. So anytime somebody commented bloat, it actually automatically removed it because I didn't want that comment because all my comments were saying bloat and in hindsight I feel like that was a very good marketing strategy if I would have said that by mistake because when it was not perfect everybody was commenting and when it was everyone was commenting it just built my engagement so I feel like I should have left that in and let people comment that and like make more mistakes in my future videos but that was a really big one and I remember at the time I was just absolutely mortified that I had said something like that and it really does look like it could float all the way there are no holes or anything on the bottom but time will tell and it appears it is one of the very few Lego boats that can actually float. So that's pretty cool. There I said boat. That was right. Away from me. Let's take a, another look at some of the views from under the sea, of course. Now we're going to check out this racing boat. Again, I wouldn't call I that a racing boat completely anymore. float just because the way the bottom is and how it's and one it, big And it definitely did float. Spoiler alert. <laughs> And I guess I am right. As you can see, it is completely floating away with the wind like some of the other boats have gone. It's traveling and it's completely staying upright. So that's always good. It's not sinking or it's floating there pretty good. More views from under the sea, of course. Next up here, we have the fire boat. This is the second the last boat, and I boat. think it will float just because it. The other boat from the set did float, the blue boat, as you saw, and it just looks. I like almost this said one. it again. No I almost said blue boat. Bottom, all plastic. It looks promising. And again, just like some of the other boats, the wind has completely taken it away because this boat does float, and it floats very nicely. This one's a good underwater shot, and then this one must not have been long all enough, right, so, so I slowed it down, and it today just wasn't is it. The ferry. As I said, this ferry here is actually what completely inspired this video. When I got this set, I just knew I had to test it out. And I'm glad I did. If I had not have got this set, I probably never would have made the Will It Float series. And my YouTube channel would not even be close to being where it is today. Now, I have no hope for this boat whatsoever. Even though it's supposed to float on water and carry cars, I have a feeling... I said it's supposed to float on water. I do want to clarify the Lego box never said it was going to float on water, but because it's a ferry, I was like, it's supposed to float. But I, the, I know the, the Lego box never said it and people commented that as well. And this one will just sink right to the bottom and ruin all the stickers I put on it. I was really worried about the stickers. I had never tested out water, you know, Lego in water before, so I was really concerned what might happen. However, it did not ruin the stickers. The, that boat is still alive and well. The stickers are still alive and well. Everything's good. But only time will tell. Boat's going in the water. It's in. It's in. 
And it's staying afloat. Just kidding, it is completely I'm such a joke. I'm suck I'm a kidder. I'm, I'm funny. It's not sinking actually as fast as I thought it might sink. I think part of the boat is actually staying afloat because it's heavier on this end, lighter on this end. And the car was also floating because like it's got works. rubber tires on the it. The car is pretty much staying afloat because it's got rubber tires. Oh, huh. I remember the saying that. The way. Yeah, the car is actually staying I almost got three well. feet picks in there, the but you didn't. Don't worry. The ferry's actually floating. I thought it might just come It's not floating. The bottom. I don't do science, so I thought it might actually sink, you know, plastic buoyancy, all that good stuff, but yeah, there's the feet again. Really well. I mean, if that's all you want it for, to the ferry to float upside down. I think this is If you wanted your ferry to float like you. that, you know, put your cars on the top, Not you would have been perfect. Is, you know, like a $50 set. I wish Lego would have actually made it so it could float. The fact that that was a $50 set back in 20 what year was this 2016 i feel like now the lego would push that to be like a 70 dollar set because the price is 50 dollars so feels like a lot water, for back then would have added a lot of cool play features i thought it would have been like 39.99 well maybe 39.99 plus tax that's where i got 50. and look at these more pretty under the sea shots So now that you've seen all of the boats, whether they float or they just kind of float sideways or backwards or upside down, let me this is a better example of that potato quality camera. Like, look, it, everything is so blurry. No, that's not my internet. No, that's not your internet. That's how bad this camera was. You know, down below, if your predictions it's were bad. correct, I know some of mine were. Actually, most of mine were, but I was a couple pretty surprised about how well some of the other boats do float, especially the blue one here. Thanks everybody so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like on the video or a comment letting me know you liked it so you want to see more videos like this in the future. To the people who think this was like a waste of a video or I shouldn't have done it, you know what? I enjoyed making I did enjoy it. Making I liked it. the idea and it was a really fun video to make, edit, and do stuff like that. So you can just like leave. Goodbye. That but I really bold. enjoyed this video and I hope you did too. Thanks everybody so much for watching and have a great day. So I feel like I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation for the ending there. At the time I was making this video, back in 2016, I was the subject of a lot of ridicule and criticism from some members of the LEGO YouTube community that most of them aren't even around anymore, so I don't know why I was so bothered back then by it. But I remember at the time they were just criticizing literally every video I tried to make, and I wanted to make this video, and I was afraid that if I made it, they were going to be like, just read that box, and they were going to bully me. Um, but I wanted to make this video, and I... I I was not going to do it and I told myself I wasn't going to do it and then I just kept thinking about how much fun it would be for me to film and edit and I had so much fun with that video. That was the first time I had made a video like that with so many clips, so much editing and special effects and stuff like that. So I, I was really, really nervous about making that video but I was like, screw it, I'm going to make it, I'm going to have fun doing it and I'm so happy that I did. That video you know, that did so well on my channel, you know, getting over a million views, taking my YouTube channel from over, you know, under 4,000 subscribers to like over 10,000 subscribers was absolutely insane. It like completely changed the trajectory. It was when I uploaded that video, I was never making more than $30 a month on YouTube. And every single month since that video in 2016, I always have met that $100 threshold. So back in 2016, me never would have ever thought that I'd, you know, back then I was hitting the $100 threshold like every four months from my AdSense. And I've hit it every single month since then. Um, and that has been incredible. And that has been like that, again, that changed the game for my YouTube. So for starters, I'm in, it's so funny that I included that in the video, how like passionate I was about, like, if you guys don't like this video, just leave. And I still feel that way right now. Like if you don't like my content, get out of here. But I remember being at the time, I almost did not upload that video because I was afraid what others were going to think. And I was terrified of it, like terrified enough that I called them out at the end of the video by knowing that people were going to comment and make fun of me for that video. And it blew up and it did so incredible and I'm so glad that I didn't listen to them and it was funny those people never actually commented on the video they watched it I know they watched it because they talked about it in other podcasts and other content and stuff like that that I saw them in when other Lego YouTubers tried to make boat series as well they were like you're just copying Brick Lover 18 which was kind of ironic that they were like calling other people out but didn't call me out especially because I don't think I think I was the first person to test out Lego boats on YouTube however I certainly not the last and it certainly wasn't the most original idea 
idea. Like I didn't come up with something completely on my own and just post it for the first time ever. Like it was obviously a very fair thing to assume some people were going to test out some Lego boats in the water. And since then hundreds of people have made videos like that as well. But given I was one of the first, like they were like, you're copying blah, blah, blah. And honestly, it was just so stupid. So I'm super glad that I uploaded that video anyway. And watching it back now, it was not nearly as bad as I thought because I uploaded that video in 2016. I thought it might be super cringy or I might be a little worried of kind of what it was, but that wasn't the case. It was actually a little fun to go back down memory lane. And like I said, that was the video that really propelled my YouTube channel into a whole other level. If I hadn't uploaded that video, I probably will not be here where I am today as a YouTuber. I probably wouldn't be doing YouTube still because it's like a lot of work making content for just, you know, 4,000 people at the time I was almost going to university. So, uh, yeah, it would have been absolutely insane if I hadn't uploaded that video because my YouTube channel would have been like so so different from where it is today, but I had fun going through memory lanes. I've had so much fun making those boat videos ever since. I think that one I made in, like I said, 2016, I didn't make one in 2017. And then I made another one in 2018, which also just completely blew up as well. That was the second one. That is the second most watched one on my YouTube channel. I also filmed one in 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. And guess what guys, you could probably expect to see one in 2023 as well. Um, but it was just so much fun making that video series and continuing to do that. And yeah, the, the, benefit that it had for my Lego YouTube channel, my Lego hobby and my like personal life was just absolutely insane. So I'm super glad I made that. And I'm super glad that I watched it back now here in 2023. And it was not nearly as cringy as I thought it might be. In fact, I'm actually pretty proud of it still. And I think that I did a very, very nice job on that video. Anyway, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the first episode of Brick Lover 18 Reacts, watching me live react to one of my very first, well, my first viral video that I've ever made on YouTube and the video that really changed my YouTube game forever. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did it, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Leave your suggestions down in the comments below for future episodes of Brick Lover 18 Reacts. I'd love to do more videos like this and give you my unsolicited opinions and reactions. So thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.